G'day, welcome to Sumo's Projects and welcome to this week's video. This video is about uh, participating in a 2020 Make a Flag Challenge as uh, proposed by James from James Man Cave, both on YouTube and Instagram. Uh, it's, it's an open challenge. Uh, there's no prizes, but uh, it's was, it was a great concept and an idea James came up with and uh, it's basically your take on what sort of flag you would like to build for your shop or for anywhere you'd like to display a flag. Um, the rules were simple, make it out of anything you, you basically can get your hands on, metal, wood, uh, combine all, the, all those components, make it the best you can. So let's go ahead and make this and if this is the first time to Sumo's Projects, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and um, yeah, that's about all the good stuff. Let's get cracking on this build now. Nice fellow by the name of Luke uh, a while ago gave me these uh, bed slats from a place that was uh, he was working at and they were destined for the bin as you can uh, see the marking on the box there. So I thought this is pine, it's going to be, uh, uh, you know, as pine reacts, a little bit of a a bugger to work with but I didn't I didn't want to go set about uh, planing and thicknessing it so I went to the table saw and just cut off these uh, cornered edges because I wanted to uh, use biscuit joinery to join this as a panel I then went over to the miter saw to cut off a rough end and this step here, I don't know why I did it because later on I went back to the table saw sled and uh, trimmed everything up nice and square anyway. So the layout here for where your biscuits are joining to each board, pretty important but you get a bit of wiggle room. Got these uh, bench dogs or bench puffs that my mate Chris actually bought for me and uh, they're so so handy to have. And um, I'm just clamping it down here because the, the boards are a little bit warped and twisted. So hopefully you get them into some sort of, uh, you know, accuracy here. Uh, yeah, so this part of it is uh, the all exciting glue up. Clean up all the glue. I think Chris must have thrown in his old underpants as well because um, they're, they're certainly quite large. Uh, no, they wouldn't probably fit me, would they? Um, <laughs> Chris will kill me for saying that. But anyway, um, yeah, glue up done. And um, I, I did these in sections of two at a time and then I joined them up uh, more thoroughly then. Bit of a clean up with a chisel and also a sand and um, they come up pretty nicely and uh, pretty happy. So. This is a process I mentioned earlier, I didn't have to do all the other trimming on the miter saw but now I can uh, just take out any uh, inaccurate type uh, measurements and uh, cut them down to size. Looking for paint? This is my paint and I love the colour. A little bit of a clean up furthermore and um, time for an exciting episode of painting from Sumo. this to be as true blue fair dink and dinky die Aussie as I could actually make it um, so the spanners are a great addition to this as well as that um, I'm going to incorporate the southern stars and, and then potentially look uh, for some sort of Union Jack logo but uh, just tracing these out here and um, I'm going to do a little bit of handheld routing uh, so I think I'll start it off with a bit of a I'm not sure what you call this bit it's uh, like a you can see a bit of a uh, sort of a radius head and um, I'll actually pre-drill so I can capture the depth with the uh, router bit and um, do the work as of then. few passes up and down um, 
all the while cleaning up as I went and uh, just seeing as how the fit was going to be. I then put a, a, a sort of a flat bottom bit in and uh, took out the rest of the material. So uh, this was a little bit of a time consuming process, but uh, we got there in the end and um, everything started to fit, which I was uh, quite happy with. Just a little bit of chiseling to clean up a few of the bottom bits and also the corners where the spanner head would uh, sit into. I thought a red paint would add a really nice contrast to the uh, the blue of the flag colour and, and it did come up well and um, as you can see in the clip coming up I'm, I'm cutting out some, uh, well I wanted to make them stars but I ended up making them like little blades. My original idea was to uh, go and purchase some really cheap little uh, saw blades but I never got a chance to go up to the hardware and uh, then it dawned on me. I've got a bandsaw, I've got scraps, or not make something similar. So the Southern Stars, uh, very important to the Australian psyche and the, the flag we bear. And um, yeah, so this was a good fun part of the project I enjoyed doing as well. Off to the uh, belt sander, tidy him up a little bit, and also use the uh, underside of my um, portable belt sander then to uh, clean up the surfaces. But here I am, I'm just making the uh, little cutouts and uh, incisions. Part of my uh, angle of um, camera work, it's pretty bad there, isn't it? Um, I kick myself in the backside a lot. <laughs> So just a bit of red paint here to uh, complement the cutout of the um, other section where the spanners are fitted. Now the sound you're hearing is a siren going off to uh, notify CFA volunteers that there's a, a fire, bushfire or a grass fire somewhere. So that's uh, it's part of the landscape at the moment. Uh, I'm gluing this in here with a, a glue, tapping it down. And then applying this uh, quick accelerant. First time I've used it and I'm hooked. I can't believe how this works. Unbelievable. As you can see, my layout is um, it's a set of spanners which were a uh, legacy of my father. And... Um, I've always had them sort of just in the back of my ute and um, I thought I know I want to use these one day for something like this and for something more. Uh, I've got a couple of other projects I want to use some things like that but um, I've sort of uh, first time I've ever used this uh, this glue this type of glue and, and the, uh, the CA kicker or CA accelerator and it's instantaneous it's like uh, how did that work? <laughs> I'm not going to look into the chemistry of it, but um, great little product, and uh, I think it just about adheres to any materials. Um, I've got an authentic uh, boomerang, boomerang here. This is something I purchased when I was up in um, Cairns, up in uh, Coranda, actually. And uh, it wasn't a market purchase; it was uh, from an authentic shop selling genuine um, Aboriginal uh, made products. So all the funds go back to the community or to the particular person who handcrafted and designed this uh, beautiful logo. So pretty proud to have that uh, as part of my uh, flag in this uh, fantastic flag competition. So, and also here we've got the, uh, the Southern Stars. Uh, just cut them out on the band saw as you've seen before. Um, and that's gonna be on this side of uh, the flag. And on that side, I'm going to put the Union Jack, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to paint it or print something out and, and adhere, adhere it there, but um, we'll keep working on it. So, really enjoying how this is coming up. Uh, let's keep going. 
I use double-sided tape to adhere the uh, the boomerang, and also use this uh, type one quick set, uh, quick and thick glue, which absolutely head over heels about. So practically, this is the way I sort of designed it on the run. I uh, I called for a little bit extra help, and some um, the sign appeared. So I have the Union Jack in the sign plus Australia, um, and it's all spelled correctly. I may not have done it correctly. Just kidding. Um, yeah, so uh, pretty much the last thing, uh, I've put a couple of hooks here and I've um, attached some of these eyelets. Uh, they just screw in and hung it up uh, in the shed. So whether it stays there or not, I'm not sure yet. It depends on how many times I uh, end up headbutting it. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you very much for watching and this was a great challenge. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you on the next build. Cheers, sumo.